welcome to nigeria first state own worship center yes you heard me right guys this worship center is owned by a state in nigeria yes this is the aqua ibom international worship center hi guys you're welcome back to our channel yes we are live in the city of uyo and today we'll be taking a ride to the international worship center in aquaibom state and the dakada toa axis yes this is us currently just driving around town trying to find our way to that area if you are new to our channel you are welcome to alin tv do not hesitate to click the subscribe button also turn on notification bell so you will always get to know when we upload new videos and for returning subscribers thank you very much we really do appreciate your love for our channel like i said we are trying to get to the international worship center to see the update of the work currently going on and also the dakada Tour, just to give you a general overview and to see the activities currently happening around there um the international worship center in the dakada tour is located around the business district and uh, um, it's quite a very serene area as far as aquaibom state is concerned generally aquaibom has some good road network the town is clean the town is very serene the town is quiet it's not such a noisy town like you find in other places or in other states but this uh, the, um, business district area is actually they call it the banking layout actually it's actually very serene quite quiet and at night i think i've been around this area a couple of times and at night it's really 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 quiet at night so no much uh, residential building just a couple of hotels you see in trickles around this area so no much residential building so activities are only here during the day the opposite it is a very massive open field and open space where they do a lot of activities like during december time they site their a christmas village around that area so that's what they do around that open space so the space is so massive and open i even feel they should create a golf course around that place but they already have the e-bomb uh the e-bomb golf course already so it's quite a very beautiful area uh, but very quiet so no residential um place around here and also aqua uh the road down leads us to the tropicana mall uh, yeah the one that is speculated to be designed according to the disney world you know we all know the story so it's just down this road just some few pole drive down you'll get to the ibom tropicana tropicana mall so it's a very central area as far as aqua Ibom state is concerned and it's a very known area as far as the state is concerned so this is just showing you the beauty of what the area looks like and we are diverting currently into the banking layout so around this banking layout you find most of the banks around here as you can see already we're already citing the dakadora tower just from the entrance of this place there are a lot of entrance you can use to this dakada tower or the worship center but we choose to come through this part and uh virtually all the banks as far as nigeria is concerned is situated around here the gtv bank the zenith bank the uba the first bank all of them are around here so if you are lost in aqua Ibom state and you don't know where to get banks to do your transaction just find your way to the banking layout and you will locate virtually all the banks you can already see part of the worship center around here so like i said this is the first uh, state-owned worship center built by the state uh in nigeria so quite commendable quite impressive though miss feeling from different nigerians some are against some are for so you can let me know in the comment section what is your own stand are you for this are you are, are you against it what is your thought in regards to this structure you know um just to mention as we approach the structure um Julius Beggar's side said it's a 5500 capacity uh, structure some say it's 5,000 capacity structure. Some say it's, it's 10,000 capacity structure. But it's a project currently being handled by Julius Beggar. So I think I will go with the Julius Beggar standard of 5,500 capacity building. So you can also share your thoughts with me. If you're part of the engineers uh, that are currently handling this construction, you can also do let me know in the comment section and tell me the actual capacity of the building. 
so um, it's looking all beautiful we've done a couple of updates regarding this you can go check out our video catalog for the host of updates we've done regarding this particular building so this is us just driving around before we send our drone to give you a total overview of what um, um, the, the, the structure looks like is should I call it a fish like structure or an arc like structure I don't even know what to call it but it's it's, it's a masterpiece as far as architectural uh, design is concerned so I think I'm impressed with the architectural design so this is just how it looks looking all beautiful and classy if you are still seeing our video and you are not yet a subscriber do not hesitate to click the subscribe button turn on notification bell to join our big family and I'm honestly looking forward to your comments your review in the comment section and for returning subscribers thank you very much we appreciate your love for the channel and if it is your first time of seeing the um, International Worship Center also do let us know in the comment section you can go and check out how the work began in our previous video so it's a master class all looking white um, no official opening yet as far as it's concerned but I saw some pictures last week that some a service was held here so but I don't really know if it has been officially flagged off as of today there is no uh, concrete information from the Aqua Ibom State Government as far as that is concerned. So, if you have an info regarding that, also do let us know. I believe this can also serve as uh, a place for the uh, uh, nine lessons and carol that they host every year, hosted by the state. You know, the state owns uh, has a Guinness record for hosting the largest carol service in the world. So, I believe they can also hold such services here. Um, that will be great to see as well. Like I said uh, before, it's banking layout and uh, the Dakada Toa is just by the corner. We'll be sending our drone to to Dakada Toa just to give you a view of what it takes. So let me know in the comment section, what does this structure represent? Is it an ark? Is it a ship? Is, is it a ship? Or what, what is the structure looking like to you? So let me get your own opinion in the comment section it's quite beautiful to see it's quite beautiful to see i believe by the time we visit again we'll begin we'll gain entrance into the building to give you a detailed tour of what the inside looks like this is the dakada tour uh this is the longest or tallest building as far as aqua Ibom state is concerned yes very high very high very high very high building um from literally everywhere in the town if you look keenly you are going to see this building it's just like the four point charlatan in uh, ecotech Bene. so from everywhere you can easily see the building and it's just um, a building full of offices different corporations are running their businesses here so quite very serene environment and quite good so if you are still seeing the video till now and you have not clicked the subscribe button to join our big family i don't know what you're waiting for do what to click it to join our big family and turn on notification bell so you will always get to know when we upload new videos and for returning subscribers thank you very much really do appreciate your love for our channel and uh, do not hesitate to like the video give us your honest thought in the comment section let's know your sincere thought and like i said before are you for the worship center are you against the worship center missed reactions from different nigerians so let's know where you stand as well in the comment section thank you so much guys we have lots of lots of lots of other updates regarding aquaibum state to bring to you catch you in our next video